Welcome back, Peer Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session. Today is July 28, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be July 29, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, give you guys some of the levels we're looking at there. So if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and hop into it. So for S&P 500, we did have some nice movement, kind of pulled down to some of our support levels right around these 4386s, and then below that into about 4380.75, popped all the way up into those 4397s, and through that, touching right around 4405 and finding resistance, and then we came all the way back down right into these 4380.75s again. So what are we looking for in this sideways movement that we have? I am looking to see if the market can actually come back and hold this level again right around these 4380.75s. So get a nice double bottom. That's going to be a great opportunity for a long right into the mid area and then back above into the area of 4397.25 and then maybe potentially above that to 4405 next level up 44.11.50 as the next level of resistance now if we can't get through 43.97 this could be a good short opportunity to try to come back down if we get through it next area you could see right up above 44.05 as that would be a good opportunity to short as well um, if we get up to that level of resistance so a couple opportunities there let's, let's take a look at a smaller chart here for s p for you guys as we come over into SB, you can see we are looking for this market to come back down, maybe develop a nice double bottom here and get a nice push to the upside. That's going to be our trading idea there. We might even stall a little bit earlier, right around these uh, 4386s. And if we do, this may be a nice opportunity to get another move uh, to the upside if we just kind of stall right here to push. But a better opportunity is we get it right back down to these 4380.75s for the push long into our resistance of 43.97 now again 97 if we do not break this level you could look for maybe a nice double top here and then get that pull down if you break through next level up look for this resistance to come through here and then you could try to short that right back down to try to fade this bullish move that we are continuing to have but right now we're in a sideways range so again you want to buy low sell high it's going to be a good opportunity for buying back up into the resistance here so we'll keep that in mind let's move over into gold take a look at what's going on with gold here so gold we are testing a level of resistance you can see we have one two touches actually really want to see this market fall off from this area so that's actually what i'm going to be looking for uh, for the time being for the london session we are looking for the rejection and then a failure we might get it here maybe might pull back a little bit and get another rejection if we fail to get through that look for the market to try to come back down into these 1808.6s and then well actually maybe 1811 even and then 1808.6 and then maybe getting below that if we continue to collapse through the levels uh, down support 1805.3 and then 1801.7 Below that, it's going to be right around the 1794s to about 1792.9. We did have a nice long opportunity off those 92 nines uh, this morning in the U.S. session. So again, I uh, want to see if the market can actually pull back down from where we're currently at. Right now, it is setting up for a good short opportunity right at a key level of resistance here, 1815.9. So keep that in mind. Next level up, 1820. And then 1822.4 as the next level of resistance above that. So to keep those in mind, let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold. So you can see one, two, three, four touches here on gold. And we want to keep that in mind as we're continuing to trade this area. We are looking for the market to fall off. So we do have good opportunities to try to do that. Pulling it back into 1811 and then 1808 and then 1805 to 06 so again this is going to be our better opportunities as we continue to reject look for the short opportunity to try to continue the move down if not you'll see the market try to move right back through this level and then try to catch the support for the continuation into 1820 and then 1822.4 again if you want more of a structure level down below Probably somewhere around these 05s is actually going to be a decent area. If not, you may stall somewhere around these 08s um, as maybe a first level of interest too. So keep that in mind as the market tries to pull back. But right now, if you want a good setup, it looks like 
this fade setup may be the better one right now. If you're looking for the long, gotta wait for it to come into supports before we go long. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's take a look over here at crude oil for you guys. So for crude oil, pulling up this chart here, crude oil, we did finally break above the resistance 72.43, and we're trying to get up into those 72.90s. This is gonna be our next key level of resistance. If we reject it, this could be coming right back down, maybe come back down into the 71.30s and 7098 as the next level of support. So we'll see. If you want the support bounces, they're gonna happen somewhere around these two areas for the move back up. If we break and collapse below those 7098s, my next level down below is gonna be 69.92 and 69.26. But we're kind of far. We haven't really dropped that low in a while, so We'll see what happens. Right now, we're moving up, trying to get against this wall of 72.90. If we fail to get through that, look for that short opportunity. If we break above 72.90, you could actually look for the market to come back, retest, and then try to go up from there. Next level above that, 73.84, and then 74.27 as the next levels of resistance. Let's move over to a smaller chart here on crude oil. So with crude oil, as we bring it over here, you can see broke above these 7243s and again still trying to retest these 90s here as it tries to go through again though this may be a nice move to try to pull it down you can see a little bit of a double top happening um, and trying to reject it so if we don't get through it at this point off this little micro peak that we have at the top uh, look for the market to try to collapse below and come to the mid area right around these 7160s and then try to reach its ultimate target right down here, 7130 and then 7098 as the main level of support down below. Keep that in mind. That's going to be our trading opportunities. If we fail to get the uh, breakthrough, we can look for the short high. And if we get the support here, we can look for the, the bounce of support uh, for the upside movement from there. So we'll see what happens. But that wraps it up for S&P 500 gold and also oil again if you guys do enjoy these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys now again if you guys are struggling to find consistency in trading feel free to become a member with us here at peer structure trading take some coaching sessions or coaching program with us allow us to help you find consistency and success in trading with that said guys if you continue to trade make sure you guys trade well you guys take care. Have a great night. Bye.